Hello, the spot plane adventure continues. I fitted Aegis bearings um, in all the control points with a plane phenomic bearing, bearings called out in the plans. And I like them everywhere except here. Because here they've got about a millimetre end float and I reckon it's going to be annoying. I reckon I'm going to feel it every time I pitch. I saw a video on YouTube last week uh, from the Cozy Girls on how to make a bearing housing just to use a plain uh, ball bearing to uh, create a substitute for their, uh, their beautiful $50 bearing housings. Now it's not going to be spherical so it might work uh, but I'm intrigued enough to try it to find out. Uh, and I suppose I better get on with it. All mixed up. Let's see what else we need. Assembled the kit as recommended by the Casey girls. I've got pallet wrap. Fortunately it's black pallet wrap because I picked it up at a junk shop for ten dollars for two hundred and fifty meter rolls. I'm stuck with the black. I got one plain bearing, five eighths Bought it off eBay, top quality Chinese product. And that's the last we see of the bearing for the moment because it hides under the pallet wrap. The whole idea is this fitting will go over the bearing. Step one fiberglassy, fiberglassy. This and then this to form the housing. I can't see why it won't work. Sorry about the mess. I've been a bit, been a bit slack with my shed hygiene lately. Uh, the girls transferred with uh, foil. I've never had much luck with foil, so I'm just going to stick it on. My intention is that each ply, you know, the ears of the bearing are going to be sort of top and bottom from me. And the aim is just to wet out the bit over the bearing and the ears. And I can't see what's going to go wrong. Then, on with the fixture, if it fits, it does. And central piston. with a weight. I was trying to think of something to do with the leftover resin and then remember that my plan has, I need a backing plate for the bearing housing, um, seeing I'm replacing an existing bearing. Uh, so quickly stack 12 plies of glass and another bit of packet pallet wrap and using the last vestiges of the resin I'll whack on number 13 
Let that free cure. All done. Okay, they've been there overnight. Let's see how it ended up. Well, other than the bearing being stuck in there like shit to a blanket, looks good. A bit of resin might have got inside the pallet wrap as well, a bit of a tragedy. Fiberglass. <laughs> uh, what's going to work? What's going to work? When in doubt, give it a thwack, I suppose. Okay, my three favourite thwackometers. Okay, some time has passed. Uh, it looks like I was damaging the fiberglass trying to drive the bearing out from the outside. So instead I drilled out the centre and then drilled down to expose the inner race um, with a 22mm spade drill. Now I've got a 13mm socket and I'll see if I can drive the bearing out. Finally, and yeah, see some resin got through a gap in the pallet wrap, so maybe the pallet wrap isn't strong enough. Okay, so it's kind of work. And there's a lot of resin on the outer race, that's why it didn't come out. Have to clean that up. Okay, a bit of clean up. Okay, put a lot of thought into this and I think I've figured it out. This is the plan's arrangement modified to suit the Aegis bearing. So from the step up to the outer tube on the torque tube to the face of the bulkhead is 18 millimeter. That's the 
it's located with a trim down large area washer under the bearing the Aegis bearing and an outer washer so I replaced that with a bit of 5 8 aluminium tube which I cut to about 6 millimeters in length and then in this fitting sanded it down until it was square and flat and 4.8 millimeter that goes on the torque tube bearing presses up against that and the same retainer holds it in place unlike the Aegis bearings cat there's no play happy with that and step face the bearing It's 18.3 millimeter so it's kept the spacing to within a millimeter and a millimeter is in the direction that will put my bell crank 0.3 of a millimeter further away from the firewall which can't be a bad thing I'm quite pleased with that now I have to decide whether to make another one or install this one and here we are with the result uh, installation was straightforward it went in just like the Aegis bearing uh, I needed a size two size small bolts which I haven't got so I've got lots of washers on at the moment uh, installation was no different to the Aegis I now have normal lateral movement I had to pack up the bottom on one side with a washer because uh, the alignment wasn't square uh, and rotate around a couple of times until I got it to line up square which is now the case and there is absolutely no end float I'm happy thank you Cozy Girls and Bob and uh, I guess I get to make another one.